Good afternoon, hope you're all well. I'm back, yay! I've still got a bruised foot, but I can walk and it's not as painful as it was. So I did rec I did really rest, um, like, like you said I should. So I, I avoided coming in, mean, it, was, it was February half term last week, which was actually quite handy. Um, I couldn't drive initially, but then I found I could, you know, I could do a small journey, but I just stayed at home for as much as I could without necessary the keys are back at the old place so we don't have to go back there anymore oh thank god um that was becoming a bit tedious but you know yeah hey all of that's done so it's great to be able to look forward now well, i just gotta have a slurp i've been at work well i do have um whilst i've been i did visit my little local um garden centre it's like five minutes from my house it's just one of the a little local one it's not one of the big massive home base or whatever I might take you there if you fancy having a, a visit let me know in the comments um, if you fancy going to visit it it's very it's, it's a nice little garden centre family owned I think so well worth a visit and I did what well, I did visit there and got some horseradish because I've never grown horseradish and I'd really like to grow it I mean look huh. so I'm gonna actually plant that in this pot temporary because I think it's just I'm, I think it says um, spring early summer to plant it out and I haven't got a permanent spot for it yet so I will um, go to plant that now just in this pot and put it on the shelf I have to be careful because this hasn't got any drainage so I won't over water it I have watered all the ceilings you've got to look at them look at them it's like triffids look at the Taunton Dean it's like a tree um, I think this is the spring cabbage, although I'm beginning to forget. I think it is the spring cabbage. I think this is the Brussels sprouts, <laughs> I think. Uh, hold up, this what was this? Oh, no, I don't know. I, will, I will, won't worry about that right now. That's the leeks. I will plant them out, but I do, do need to sort the bed out first. Um, oh, and um, one Monge 2 has germinated, but the others don't look like they're... And no, nothing from these yet, so I don't know uh yeah so horseradish <laughs> oh and i do have um i can't remember was it i can't remember who mentioned perpetual or perennial leaks david i might i might be wrong sorry if i am um you mentioned babington uh leaks which were uh, which are perpetual leaks so you just they just stay in the they grow you just cut eat you know i mean it sounds fantastic and I really like leeks. I mean, ours not so keen, but I love leeks. So you've got to keep them in the fridge. So they actually are in the fridge at the moment. And I will, um, once I've got the area ready, I'll bring them in. But the uh, very good um, uh, instructions from Incredible Vegetables. I will put a link in the description because they cost $9.99 for 20 um, perennial leek bulbs. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, plus postage. Really good. They have loads of sort of perennial veg on, on, on the website. Really, really good. So really interesting. I do like stuff like that. Things that you don't have, you know, have to sow seeds on every year. So, plan today. What's the plan today? Do I have... Let me have a look. Yeah, I do. I think the... I think my char strimmer's charged. We're going to maybe do a little bit of trimming, tidying up. I will, if I do any trimming, I'm going to be going over the ground first to check if there are any hedgehogs or baby hedgehogs. I don't think it's the right time of year for baby hedgehogs, but you never know. Um, because Jackie Burton, you say to me, could I please mention that? Because your um, hedgehog sanctuary uh, or, or hospital if you like is is reporting loads of hor horrific injuries which is awful i mean can you imagine strimming and then you're catching a hedgehog because you you know you, you have it, it you didn't realize it was there i mean that's just horrible so i'm going to just scout over the areas that I'm, i've decided to stream um maybe just prod a little bit with my foot i, I mean i don't think you should use a stick because you could prod it with, a, it with a stick but just kind of like sweep away the grass if especially if it's very long grass and check well worth it because we don't want to injure our 
quickly friends do we so if, if you are streaming check it check the areas at first so we're going to do that do a bit of tidying it needs a lot of tidying up because i haven't been here for a week i feel like well yeah the list gets long i've got to get plants um pond plants soon as because of an aquatic soil so that's on the cards very soon just got to get some funds <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to leave this box here because it's got the instructions for the um, perennial leeks. <sighs> but let's plant these um, horseradish and water them in and then we can leave them for a few days before seeing ha whether they need watering in anymore. And hopefully they will um, sort of take to the soil and then um, I can have horseradish growing in my on my allotment. Because we really love the, um, we use it if we're ever eating beef. I mean, horseradish is such a, Al loves horseradish, so. So it says plant the sticky thing uh, vertically. I'm just going to water them in. No, I've still got some of my, um, Plant markers, Melon Sue's, you gave me these a long time ago. Thank you, I love them. <laughs> In fact, that might have been last spring. Just write horseradish, horseradish. Can you see them? Just leave them there and hopefully they'll take. Right, so my tulips look a little bit, um, well they look all right, half of them, 50-50 I think. So, some are a little bit limp and the others look like quite perky. Garlic looks all right. soil and plants ASAP I think oh this is coming out this is bushing up Can you see the buds on the plum tree? That's really good. Buds on the apple tree. <laughs> so I'm just going to go outside and do a uh, a time-lapse walk checking for hedgehogs. I mean, I don't know if I've got any, but I, it's worth, I, I've got, I'm gonna check for the areas where I'm gonna be streaming. Uh, that'll all be on time-lapse, get it, make it quick. So uh, after the streaming, because I'll start streaming once I've checked the areas, I'll come back to you because I have done a little bit of work um, whilst off camera, but I'll show you what I've been up to. I, I think I've got a broad bean bed ready for sowing seeds. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, and then I've kind of got to decide where I'm going to put the perpetual leaks. Yeah, see you in a bit.
So strimming done. I'm just um, I'm going to see this pole here and that pole there. I'm going to block this because I've seen people walk across in the middle of the plot. I mean, they don't realise that they're walking across a plot. They think they're walking in between. But it just stops that from happening. I'm just going to lay some cardboard over this area. Just because I'm going to plant something on this, this what I'm a kind of climber. I'm building a climber. So I'll put some soil down in a minute. Oops. This was left over from the house, which is quite handy. I should have enough for two going across, I reckon. Maybe more. Hopefully. Streaming, yeah, streaming was good. I'm glad I checked. Thanks, Jackie, for the prompt. Because it's it's um you do when you go to stream you sort of feel a bit better, you know, you're not there's nothing of you know you've checked the area. Oh. Pole should be should be sturdy enough, I think. Looks a lot neater down there. Down the path, which is great. Maybe grow sweet peas up here or anything vertical. Um have to think. Oh. Change the temperature is quite warm, but it feels like it might rain. Oh. Try and get it taller. So this is an area I've put fresh cardboard on. I'm going to put carry the path on up here because that's where a natural path should be. Uh, I just raked over. It was all in a pile, the horse manure. Let's quickly add this soil to what I need more compost. But... I need more compost. That's all right, I'll go get some soon. Maybe my perpetual leaks could go here, near the Bussinbury. Uh, see that bed there? I put the rest of the compost on that. So, it's nearly time for home. I think I'm gonna stop in the, ga in the shed. I was gonna say garage then, but that's looking all right, isn't it? Sweet peas, something like that to climb. No one will walk through now, so that's good. And if if ever I needed to get, remove it, it would be really easy. So cool cakes back in the shed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, coffee time. See you in a minute. Oh gosh, it's actually quite warm today. Uh, nearly the last few days of March, um, February. Cheers, everybody. Hope you're all well. Oh, cheers. I did go run and get some wood chips, so I did sort of refresh the path. I'll show you. So all along there. That's pretty good. Quite happy with that. Good wood chip today. So a massive pile of it, and I'm going to get some for. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm quite pleased with that. I don't know if you can see it from there. I hope so. It's difficult to tell because it's quite light, so I can't see the screen, but 
yeah it's home time now thanks so much for watching everyone um oh go have a slurp i'll see you on the next one take care bye